The Bourneville Caryland is located on top of the tower of the Bourneville Primary School. The Bourneville Primary School opened on the 23rd of April 1906 and was paid for by George Cadbury, who was passionate about education. A Caryland is an ornate instrument that functions similar to an organ. There are only 15 Carylands in the UK and Bourneville owns the largest one. Bourneville Caryland is made up of 48 bells, weighing around 17 tons, and playing across four octaves.
Carry lands date back to the 16th century and originated in Northern Europe. While in Belgium in 1906, George Cadbury heard the Bruges Carry Land being played. The instrument dated back to 1675. George Cadbury was so captivated by the music that he decided to install a Carry Land on top of the newly built primary school as a gift to Bourneville residents. The Carry Land became a core aspect of Bourneville and was a source of joy and pride for George Cadbury during his lifetime. The Carry Land is now owned and maintained by Bourneville Village Trust. To reach the Carry Land, you must climb a very narrow staircase. Now, I don't know if you know the history of the, uh, the bells and everything. There's 48 bells on the top. And the three and a quarter tonnes of heaven is 12 pounds of lightest. George Cabri didn't get to see all that because his wife put them up on his death in 1922. Originally, what you see now, the tower, George Cabri never seen. Before, it was 28 bells and they're kind of boxed in. You can see them through this room and it's close to that. Now this used to be a classroom, now the staff room. Yeah. Well, it had to be closed for the staff room because when it was a, when it was a classroom, there was only one exit, how so. Oh, I can say it now, actually. Oh, okay. So what you see, did you notice the clocks outside of the building? Yeah. Yes. The the right, this used room. to be a classroom. Yes, my science room. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Why is it no longer a classroom? Yeah, how to say the only one finding it? Oh. Uh, outside. 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 The bells that you're in on the tower and the chiming is also run by a slave clock, all run off the master clock. So when they turn it in the summer and winter time, an hour backwards and hour forwards, it's all done by that clock, which alters the bells and alters these clocks here. Yeah. So if you wonder in the area, if you're from the area, and that you know why they do that quickly, it's just because that clock does it all. Did you tell me yesterday? Sorry? Did they tell the decree? I didn't hear it. I was working. Adjoining Bourneville Primary School is the Infant School. It was founded in 1910 by Josh Cadbury for his work as children. In 2019, Bourneville Infant and Bourneville Junior Schools were merged to become one school, now known as Bourneville Village Primary School. When founding the schools, Josh Cadbury specified that they should provide an education of the highest quality with a Christian ethos that was forward-thinking and tolerant. <laughs>